Because here's my sweetheart, Val. How do you do? I do fine. Well, it seems like you guys are the first ones here. Come on in. So, Susan, is the sun shining down upon you today? Well, it's pretty much night, so no. Well, the sun can always shine if you let it. Coming. Hi, I'm Ben Kenneth Taylor. I'm ready to take a tour of the house. Well, I hate to put the brakes on your enthusiasm, but it looks like we're going to have to wait for everyone else to get here. Oh, hello there. I'm Ben Kenneth Taylor. I'm a hubby. Uh, oh. Well, this is Valerie. <laughs> Susan Sarandon, but I'm not that Susan Sarandon. I haven't the slightest clue what's going on. Me neither. You've never seen the Rocky Horror Picture Show? Susan was great in it. Oh my word! You're the movie actress! Gosh, what are you doing selling houses? <laughs> Elaine. Elaine Weston. It sounds like people are already here. It must have been early because I'm never late. The open house paper said to be here at 7 in the evening. And right now, it's 7 o'clock on the dot. You're right on time then. Oh, you must be Drew. Come on in. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Brad, and this here's my sweetheart, Val. How do you do? Hi, I'm Brad, and this here's my sweetheart, Val. How do you do? Well, hi there. I'm Ben Kenneth Taylor. I'm a tea brewer. Yeah, well, that's right. Let's all share. Let's go around in a circle. What a great idea. I'll start. My name's Brad, and I'm an elementary school teacher at Rainbow Pines Elementary. And surprise! I'm an elementary school teacher, too! That's actually where Brad and I fell in love. He was in the teacher's lounge, and I was microwaving my apple spice tea. There he was, and there I was, and <laughs> we just fell in love. I'm Elaine. I'm a journalist, although I wouldn't mind catching a break. What are you, a vampire hunter? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Can you say your name? Can you talk? My name's Drew. Well, in all honesty, I'm not surprised you answered that way. Oh yeah? What's that supposed to mean? Ooh, I'm a tough guy. I hang out in the shadows and have dinner with Nosferatu. Tell me this. Do you fight side by side with Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Are you serious? Alright, well... I'm glad you all got to know each other. Who's ready to go on tour? Well, here's a crazy question. Can these windows be boarded up? Well, if you buy the house, you can do whatever you want with it. Oh. Why would you board up the windows? The light would be beautiful at sunrise. This would be the best place to write. But you know, I've always wanted to be a journalist. Get the facts straight, fans. Point out the good guys, point out the bad guys. Life is just so hectic. I really want to settle somewhere far away and write a book. Well, this house is so secluded, it'd be the best way to separate yourself from the world. Take a look around by yourself. Explore the house. It's pretty amazing. I hope there's a window bench here somewhere. It'd be a perfect place to write. Uh, we need to see how many rooms there are. And we need to see the wallpaper. Want me to turn the lights on? It's a little dark in here. Who cares? Alright, I'll leave them off. 
Uh, what do you think of the house? Who cares what I think? Ask Brad. He's all that matters anyway. Okay, well, find me if you have any questions. Somebody better buy this house. I did not say I'd like to party with oh. some freaks. What do you think of the house? Where would you like to know? Well, glad you like it. Okay, have you seen Ben anywhere? No, I haven't. Maybe he went home a little early. Who knows? He's a little odd. God, I'm not the only one that thinks so. I'm gonna go prepare snacks. If you have any questions, let me know. Okay, thanks. God! Simply atrocious. Knew something was off about you two. I think they did it. What? Now that's no way to talk to a lady. She's not a lady, she's a murderer. And so are you! They aren't even denying it. Yes, we are denying it. I haven't done anything wrong. Oh uh, yeah? Okay, then where were you when you heard the scream? What were you doing then? Hey, pal, you don't need to be pointing fingers. We're good people. Where were you? I went upstairs for a few seconds. I came up to this door. The two of them are standing in the dark in front of this window, arguing aggressively, arguing, saying oh stuff like... You can't know we lied. Is it done? It's done. We can explain. No, we can't. We can't tell. Honey, we have to. But if they know, I'll be so embarrassed, I'll... I'll die! Would you rather be known as a murderer or something else? Well... I'm pregnant. Oh, what? I'm pregnant, but it was an accident. But I want the baby. We want the baby. It's just Brad's mom. My mom. It's so old-fashioned, you just wouldn't believe it. Oh, I bet we could. We're engaged. And the wedding is soon, but maybe not soon enough. His mom, she might find out. She won't. She might. And if she does, it'll ruin everything. Now that we're starting a family, we need a bigger house. This one is the closest to our Rainbow Pine Elementary School for sale. We have our problems. But certainly we aren't murderers. Well, that honestly sounds like a true story to me. Well, it is. We never lie. Whoa, watch that first step. It's a doozy. <laughs> Brad. Why do you have a shovel handle? You know what matches a shovel handle? A shovel tip! Exactly! You're over here accusing innocent people when you're the killer! I, I can explain. No, you can't. I heard you. I heard the things you were talking about. I know what you were talking about. You understand me? Well, I got a little confused at the end, but I think I know what you think I know you know. They've gone mad! Hush, Val. I passed the door to the basement, and you didn't close the door all the way. And you thought she did. But I listened, and I heard. Okay, that's not the slightest bit creepy. Hey, pal, now you're the one under the spotlight. Be quiet and let the man speak. And he said, It's illegal. No one can see and no one can know. I heard you. Not to mention, the whole night you were going around and asking if you can board up windows. Then after Susan and Saran didn't give us the green light, you pulled into the basement? I did not bolt. I looked around. Only so you can seem less suspicious. Yeah! Yeah! Then after I moved in, I heard a huge bang from the basement. All that paired with the shovel handle? Your future isn't looking too bright. Just give me a minute to explain. I had just passed Brad and Valerie. It's true, though. I cared most about the basement, so I went there. There were windows down there. That wouldn't do. That wouldn't work. I called my partner to tell him to figure out what to do. I think you're overreacting. We can deal with windows. It's illegal. No one can see and no one can know. Well, I think I mentioned before, I'm a tea brewer. But sometimes tea just isn't enough. So my buddy and I want to start a moonshine club. 
my guys at the tea brewery all want to join, but it's not exactly loud. I figured it's about time for me to move out of my mom's house. I might as well find a place suitable for mi mi mixing too. For the mixing. I saw the shovel and I knew I broke it. It felt awful. I had to fix it. So I grabbed both pieces, the tip and the handle, and I started to go upstairs to find super glue or something. Right when I walked out of the room, someone comes running into me and knocks me down. They, whoever it was, grabs a shovel tip and runs away. I'm just sitting there like an idiot, just confused as all get out. That's why the shovel handle is in my hand. I decided to take a look around the place, and then I heard Susan scream, so I immediately ran up to see what happened. I'm not the killer, I swear. I don't know, Brad. I think I believe him. Me too. I think he's an honest man. Then who the hell killed Susan Sarandon? Good question. Well, just wait now a darn second, Drew. You brought up Ben's conversation. That means you were near him. Yeah, you must have been the one who took the murder weapon. Oh yeah, the tables have turned. Identity fraud. Oh gosh, honey, look! Brad, could it be? I thought he looked familiar. Wait, what? Pass it here. Wait, Andy Atkins? Isn't he the guy from- Chateau Chateau, the home renovation television show! Oh boy, Val and I watch the show every Monday night. When you remodeled that Brooklyn apartment in with the olive- Olive green and salmon colored walls into a sleek blue lounge? We, we were, were blown, blown away. away! You were the one who gave us the idea to turn our kitchen walls into sunshine yellow instead of marmalade gold! We, we love you! <laughs> I'm your biggest fan! Brad! We are your biggest fans! Yeah. Anyhow, I saw the house on the listing, and, uh, yeah, Linda wanted me. The host of his rival show! Dunstan Diamonds! Exactly, and she had to look into this house too, so I had to come check it out for myself. Well, if Ben didn't kill Susan Sarandon, and Valerie didn't kill Susan Sarandon, and Brad didn't kill Susan Sarandon, true. and I didn't kill Susan Sarandon, Janet, Dr. Scott, Janet, Brad! What? I'm 90% sure you're a better Brad than Barry Bostic was. What about Elaine? What about me? Were you and Susan Sarandon screamed? I was listening to music at the time. Gee, actually, that's the truth. We passed her on the way to the kitchen after we heard Susan Sarandon scream. That's right! You're in that room, right next to the kitchen, and you didn't hear Susan Sarandon scream? Like I said, I was listening to music. I couldn't hear her. Wait a second! Drew, weren't you in that room? As a matter of fact, yes, I was. When I had gone in, I didn't see her. Guys, you need to come here and see this! Come on, Val! I think we know now. Where's the telephone? Don't be silly! Castles don't have phones! What? Calling the police! Why'd you do this? You wanna know? You really wanna know? I had to! I had to do it! I was gonna be fired! The news is so boring nowadays! I thought you wanted to be a novelist! I lied! Why? I can't believe it! Well, believe it! The world is in a series of I Love Lucy reruns! <gasps> I love that show! I thought maybe if I could find a story, I could save my hide while having the most interesting news story. Death of the saleswoman, I'd call it. Could keep it going on. Nobody would know who killed Susan Sarandon. Or at least that was the plan. Well, maybe now you can write a girl interrupted diary. You're going away for a long time. We've got to get out of here. So you're coming, right? 